What if KFC was an anime and the colonel himself invited you to eat his chicken? Would you do it? Well, today I'm gonna find that out. And now I don't want to explain too much, so uh, let's just get into this beautiful game. I'm nervous. <laughs> What the hell is this game, bro? I love you, Colonel Sanders. A finger licking good dating simulator. God damn. Now, I have only visited the Colonel's kingdom a couple times in my life. And actually, I want to be honest, most times the chicken's really not that great. I don't really get into it. Oh, welcome, Chef. Gordon. We're getting into some fan fiction here, boys. Gordon R. You sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. Very modest. The world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in the moment forever. A nice ass apartment, bro. Is that be- I take back everything I said. <coughs> or you could wake up now, 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 your first day of- Jesus Christ! First day of culinary school is no time to sleep in. Okay, uh, smack that clock. Throw the clock out the window. Y yes. This is what I would do in real life. You slept through the school year and gave up on that once in a lifetime opportunity to meet Kurt. Oh no. Oh, I, I already lost. <laughs> wow. All right, smack that clock. And get on up, boy. Laying in bed, you stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. Your mind begins to wonder, who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? T time begins to fly by and, and you find your imagination. <laughs> what am I doing, bro? Time begins to fly by and you find your imagination getting away from you. You'll need to take this seriously. You allow yourself to daydream a bit. No, 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 no. We gotta take this seriously. We're reading that kernel today. You bust through your morning checklist. Teeth brushed, hits deodorized. Nothing can stop you now. Except for that BTS poster. You confidently grab a biscuit, strut out the door, and head off to class. <sighs> Standing in the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. It's kind of average, not gonna lie. Here comes your lifelong best friend, Miriam? Mar Miriam? Mariam? I'm just gonna call you Mer. What's up, Mer? She's the most adorably awkward person you've ever met, and you absolutely love her for it. It's kind of pathetic, if you ask me. Good morning. <laughs> Dude, I don't know what. Uh, this is so weird. Good morning, Gordon. Are you excited for the first day of the rest of your life? Yes. Because I sure am. Excited. A little nervous. Okay, okay, a lot nervous. It's just that this morning I made breakfast for myself. <laughs> when I ate it, I, I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I'm not good? What if I fail? Is she crying? What a bit. Sweet girl, Murr has always had a flair for the dramatic. This summer she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped a tooth practicing on a mannequin. Now, why are we friends with this creep? Should you pep talk her or change the subject to give her some relief? I kind of want to see the, uh, the slow mental decline of this human being. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's just stress her out. Let's just keep stressing her out. We're gonna pep talk. I've been waiting for so long! <laughs> I've been waiting for so long to meet a handsome fellow I could call my own. And I'm sure you will soon. In no time, we'll be graduating and you'll be delighting the world with your heartfelt cooking. In no time at all! As you talk Mer up, you can feel her nerves begin to ease. Damn it. Before you can get another word out, you're rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spoons. My custom engraved. <laughs> it's Ash Lai? What? How, dude, what are these names? I'm just gonna call her Ash. It's Ash, your arch rival. She's totally evil, but you can't help but be filled with jealousy. She can get anything she wants, and she knows it. God! Hey, look at them thighs, boy. Oh, I didn't see you there, chicken shins. What is that? You leave Gordon Ramsay's shins alone. They're perfectly normal shins. If anyone here knows though what perfect shins look like, it's us. Have you looked down? Across the quad, you see Ash's best friend, Van Van the Man Man. <laughs> what are these names? Ahem. Van Van. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. I Hold on. Is this the same guy? Is this Van Van right here? I think we found him. You ring ring. <laughs> so stupid. I can't believe the University of Cooking School Academy for Learning would ever allow people like you to attend as students. I know, right? You'd think they'd just hand us our diplomas now. Or maybe hire us on as professors. You amateurs could learn a lot from us. Pish! See you later, losers! 
<laughs> Why does this look like my brother? As you approach the door, you see a goofy looking kid pushing hard against the window directly next to it. <laughs> what? Did this man just shat himself? No. <laughs> Who is this guy? What just happened? And why is he look seven but have the body of a 50 year old? My name is Pop. I was named after my Pop Pop. He's old. Could someone like this also be a student at the school? He must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name tag clearly says Bob, but I guess he's reading it upside down. Happens to the best of us. You both shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. Ah, that, that's a hypotenuse. I know that because I'm, I know math. God damn. Future love interest, guys. Future love interest. Please, call me Professor Dog. I may be cute and a little fluffy, but I still demand respect. Woof. <laughs> Damn, look how thick this man is. I mean, dog. I mean, professor. What? A cute dog is our professor? This is the best school ever! I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all of the nuances of fine dining. He has a point. Out of nowhere, wind begins to rush around you as a swirl of cherry blossom petals fill the air inside the classroom. Is it him? Is it gonna be the man himself, the colonel? <gasps> I've come prepared. A gift for you, colonel. Just for you. All for you. You're immediately swept up in the air of this new student and his remarkable goatee. That thing is remarkable. If it isn't my favorite student, please. Call me Colonel. I think, that, I think that suits him. Colonel Sanders. No, no, this doesn't work. Colonel Sanders. A hushed murmur rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle of desks. Suddenly, the room is sweltering. Sweat begins to beat across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you, and you're not entirely wrong. And this over here must be sweaty sweats a lot. Okay, well, fine, Miss Big Thighs and Curvy hips and <laughs> professor dog steps in to settle the class down and set more ground rules welcome to university of cooking school academy for learning the greatest culinary academy in the world the birthplace of culinary legends past present and future many challenges await you there will be tears there will be blood there might even be really adorable tiny food and when all is said and done there will be a battle you will lift your spark to compete in the brute core cooking arena! <laughs> Just then, another student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor's rousing speech. Oh. This guy does not look like he's healthy. Hi guys, sorry I'm late. I hope everyone had a good summer. What is wrong with this man's hands? What is going on? Somebody hold this man's hands. You're expelled! You are the one more word of it before I finish! Even Clank made it here on time, rolling halfway across town on his tiny wheels. You turn to see the student Twinkles is referring, who appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen appliance. <laughs> what? Oh. Okay. Oh, Clank. The class bursts into laughter. Why are we laughing at Clank? Hold on, hold on! Sprinkles walks into the classroom as everyone stands in silent obedience. When he gets to you, he lifts his nose into the air and takes a deep sniff. <sighs> hmm, your diet is lagging. You decide to try and butter him up by giving him a treat from your pocket, but what kind? This is Colonel Sanders, so I think we're gonna have to go with chicken snack here. Well, well, well. I think there might be some competition for new star student. Just wanna fucking talk about it. As everyone rushes to claim their favorite seat, you're left standing at the front of the room. Only two options remain. Hey, Gordon Ramsay, there's still a seat here. It seems that no one has claimed my seat next to me. If you're interested. Two good options, but which will you choose? I mean, it's obvious. Come on. Alright, I already don't like Mur, and Colonel seems to be the cool kid, so we got we got we gotta we gotta move up on the on the culinary scale. Sit by Colonel, even if we lose a friend. Think fast! It's time for a pop quiz! This incredibly important and surprisingly short quiz will tell me if you are ready for life at culinary school. Keep your knives sharp and your focus sharp! Here comes question one. If train A is traveling to point B and train B is traveling to point Point A, how important is it to wash your hands? Be this culinary school, you always gotta wash your hands and nobody wants any of your germs, okay? So uh, we're gonna go with extremely, looking at you, Pop. That's right. Forest is to tree as chicken is to... Hmm. I guess feather? That's right, okay. What is the most efficient eating utensil ever created? A comically oversized fork, a meat tenderizer, a spork. What would the colonel say? Shoot, I'm gonna go with spork. No, wait, this is a trick question. Oversized fork. F is Sprinkles a good boy? <laughs> no. May I have your attention, students? I have an important announcement to make. Time for lunch! I got lunch right here. <laughs> 
Mm. I gotta say, this chicken, this chicken just adds a whole new feeling to this game. A whole new level. Do you smell that? That must be our lunch. It smells crazy good. In honor of the new semester, I prepared something special to share with everyone for lunch. Let me guess, it's gonna be chicken. You hold your breath waiting to see what food his mysterious students have created. You've heard that he's very talented. <laughs> Let me just get a little bit of that. Ooh, ooh, what's that. Colonel Sanders has filled a bucket with chicken. What a novel concept. You take one of the pieces of fried chicken out of his bucket and sink your teeth into it. Mm -hmm. Tasting Colonel Sanders' food transports you to another dimension. <laughs> Alone with your taste buds. Gripping a drumstick in your hand, you float weightlessly. Focus your mind and meditate on this moment. Try and identify every flavor. Savor the moment and everything that it tells you about Colonel Sanders' culinary heart. Swim towards the light. Hmm. What would the colonel want me to do? The colonel would want me to find true happiness with his chicken. He'd want me to swim towards the light. Somewhere up ahead, a bright light beckons you. The flavors are so intense, you become wrapped up in them. Unable to resist, you reach towards the light. It grabs your hand and pulls you closer. Closer! You are forever lost in this land of tender fried chicken bliss. Your mind dissolves. There's no Gordon Ramsay. There is only herbs and spices. I don't know if I want to leave. No, what? Swimming towards the light? I, I died? In the chicken, in the chicken verse, I got lost in the chicken verse. All right, uh, we're gonna end it. Day one with Colonel Sanders. That was uh, that was a weird. This is a weird game, man. This is basically like Doki Doki. Thank you guys for watching. Good riddance.